to do a review of book, The Greatest Reality Show. The author of this book is Mavi Ikena Ejiogu. This book tells us as if we are acting thing in this world. God created everything on earth. Then he said, let us create, create man in our own image and likeness. Then Lucifer, the fallen angel, came to God and he took permission to tempt man. And the Lord gave him that permission. But warned him not to touch the soul. When he tempted man, man fell for his temptation. Then God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sin. And the first part ended with story of Israelites. Part two tells us about Jesus Christ, who is the second person of blessed Trinity. And that he is the son of God. It also talks about how the story of the Old Testament was completed in the New Testament. Talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Asia and Jacob. Abraham represents God, Isaac represents Jesus, and Asia and Jacob represent we Christians. Asia is the Christian that did not did not do, did not do, do the will of God. While Jacob did the will of God and God blessed him. We Christian has sold our best right to get the things of this world. But Terry tells about some practical ways we can live as a Christian and he did did this through the story he narrated the the story of Phil and his employee, Tina and her friends, and the story of Charles. That was Christian. We should always walk in the way of God. We should always be prayerful so that the devil will not use us and we should think of heaven every day as if it is our last day on it. We need to read this book to get more details on these stories so we can apply them in our daily life. Part 4 tells about the life of the writer and his journey of faith. And this book makes me understand more about my life. During the time I live for convent assisting sisters, the founder asked me, my daughter, can't you follow these children serve God in a special way? I tell her, Father, I will marry. The marry I marry. In only seven years, I live with my husband with two children. In this book, I'm understood that God has different plans for us in life. We can see this in the last part of this book where the writer spoke about the parable of sower. I think the seed that fell on good soil are the angels. The seed that fell on stone are the devil and his agents. While the seed that fell on the road and the stone are we in the world. With this book, I can now refer Reflect back to the purpose why God created the world and how Adam and Eve sinned against God and he sent his son to save us. Which means for us to make heaven, we need to follow and worship Jesus Christ who is the way, the truth and the life. You can get a copy of this book on our Amazon or www.thegreatestrealityshow.com
We are refired code is T H K O J O zero eight. May God bless us.